Assalamu alaikum. This video I will answer the inquiries you wrote to my YouTube post. So let's start. First one is from this guy, Abdurrahman Waqqas. He wants to know how to rebuild BIOS and EC file for an HP laptop without original backup, especially EliteBook 840G5. Actually, we are here talking about an HP corporate device that has two chips main BIOS chip and EC chip. Talking about myself, I can't rebuild EC file for this kind of devices because it is not published there on HP website. So all what I can do is to take the EC file from another similar working device, flash it to the faulty device, and now your laptop should work fine if the file is suitable for it. Of course, you can encounter a password or security issues but anyway, we can solve it easily. For the main file, you have two options. If your laptop has an AMD CPU, you can just download the BIOS from HP website, extract it, delete the extraterrestrials, and you now have your main BIOS file. Of course, without DMI, but you still can add it manually. Unfortunately, if your laptop has an Intel CPU, you will need to find another dumb file to rebuild it because you can only find a BIOS region on HP website, not a full BIOS image. So you will have to combine it with a dump file, then clean ME region for that file. Next one is from this guy. It is written in Arabic. He wants to know if there is any way to extract the encrypted serial number for ThinkPad devices. First of all, you have to know that the serial number of every ThinkPad device is not in the BIOS file but it is stored inside the Super I.O. chip. There are two types of Super I.O. chips. First one only has EC file and you can find your serial number with other DMI info written in plain text. The second type has two files, EC file and EEB room file. In this case, the serial number and the DMI should be inside the EEB room file and it will be encrypted. I think I will make a video in the future on how to decrypt that serial number. Yeah, maybe. Why not? The last one is from this guy. It is a good question and I think it is written in Hindi. He wants me to explain the differences between Intel BIOS and AMD BIOS. Also how to identify them. Let's talk about Intel first. In Intel platforms, the BIOS file should contain three main regions descriptor region, ME region, and BIOS region. I'm here talking about Core i CPUs starting from the first generation till 13th generation. Because you can see TXE region instead of ME region for Pentium or Celeron CPUs. Also you can find some other regions like GPE region, AC region, or BDR region, but it is varies from one device to another. Everything is different with AMD CPUs because there is no regions, it is just a BIOS file. And the good thing here is you can always find a full BIOS image on any vendor website like Dell, HP, Lenovo, etc. So there is no need to have the original file in order to fix it, but you will need it just to transfer your DMI and Windows key. Intel files should start with descriptor region and you can identify it by this value in the second line. Also, the end of the file could be like this. There is no special value for the end, but it shouldn't be empty or filled by F, except for the devices that have TXE region. AMD has no standard for the BIOS file. Sometimes you can see data like this in the header of the file, or it could be empty. The footer could be like this or empty. Also, you can find an AMD file filled by F in the beginning and the end too. I hope you learned something good and new in this video. And I will see you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.